Hi everybody and welcome to my channel Stitching with the Dachshund. My name is Sherry and I'm glad to see you back. Faithful people who've waited all these months for me to put out another video. I know it's been a, a good six months since I put out a video and a lot of things have happened. So we're just going to jump into it with a life update and then uh, wrap up 2019 and show you what I'm going to do in 2020. So in October, we uh, went to Arizona and picked up my in-laws and we moved um, up to a, a small town called Temple. And we are in the still in the process of building the house. Um, we've got the plans. We're just waiting for a few details before we can actually start the process. Everything is going good on that front. We're really excited. Let's see what for you. <laughs> you might hear a snore a little bit too. Uh, but everything's going good on that end. Um, Christmas was really great for me. I loved it. You know, I was able to spend a lot of time with my family. And to have all three kids home at Christmas is such a joy. Um, so we had a great Christmas Eve here. We saw Robert's parents. And then we went over to my sister's house and saw my family on Christmas Day. New Year's, we just sat on our chairs and watched TV and I cross-stitched. So I brought in the New Year cross-stitching. Yay, me. Um, so anyway, let's just get into it. Um, for 2019... I did the, I'm going to be looking over here because I have some notes over here and I got piles of stuff over here. So just bear with me. They're getting in the way. Um, so I did the Stitch 9 Challenge. And um, so I'll do the Stitch 9 Challenge and then I'll tell you, and that is also part of my Year of Whips 2019 too. So like I said, if you've seen some of my videos, you've seen these pieces before, but since this is a wrap up, I really wanted to show them off. So I might be a little rusty at this, so bear with me too. Okay, so my first one was Snow Flower, Snow Flower Diaries. Uh, I wanted to finish up October, November, and December. I had gotten behind on them, and so I put them for my Stitch 9 and said they're going to be one of the first ones that I do in 2019. So this is October. And I have to admit that I love these. And... I warn you now, I'm probably going to love on each and every one of these as I see them go by. So just heads up for that. Um, but I love this series because I went in and I chose different fabric for each one of them. And I sometimes I changed colors, sometimes I didn't. But uh, I really, really love this series. And I'm so glad to have gotten it finished. So that is October. I think I'm going to try to do it without this board to see if it works. October. Oh, November is so pretty. I love November. Look at November. Can you see it good? Let me see. You might need the board. Oh, gosh. She's beautiful. I love November. I also, I said that about everyone as I finished them. I think this is my favorite. No, I don't have a favorite because they're all my favorites. But wait till you see December. I love December's too. Isn't December beautiful? Oh my gosh. I just love December. It's, mm. I love December, October, November, December, all of them, I know. Okay, the next one that I had on my Stitch 9 challenge is a beauty. I, um, I am partial to Twin Peak Primitive Designs. Um, I, I like their designs. Um, and I got this one. It's called Christmas La uh, Lantern. And I was able to get it finished. And isn't she beautiful? I don't even know really what I'm going to do with this one. Mm, frame it, hang it. I, I don't know yet. I just, I'm so glad to see that it's finished. Look at that. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Then I have the basket of red, white, and blue. Got it finished on my Stitch 9. Isn't she a pretty one? Oh, I like it. I did the basket of eggs from hers, and then I did that one. So I'm really excited. What's next on my list? Queen Bee of the Needle. Now, this one, it's looks going to look a little weird, but it's because I'm making it into something. Uh, it was going to be a needle case is what it's designed for, but I stitched it bigger. Because I, I got, I'm going to do more than just the needles in it. I'm going to try to put uh, a little pocket in there so that I can just fold it up, kind of take it with me. And it'll have some of the 
stuff I need for the project that I'm working on. I don't know exactly how I'm going to do it yet. It's just an idea in this graying head of mine. All right. One of the ones I was so looking forward to doing was Here Lie My Needles, by Shakespeare's Peddler. She's another one that I love, her patterns. But I got this one done on my stitch nine. Isn't she gorgeous? I'm going to have to do it like this. Here we go. I think we can see it. Oh, my God. That fox and those ducks and the bees. This is just so beautiful. I love it. Love, love, love it. So excited to have gotten it finished. Okay. And then Henpecked. We all know about that one. A lot, a lot of people did the Henpecked, did this series. And there we go. Aren't they cute? I've done a few of these, but I haven't done, you know, she's got quite a few out, and I haven't done them all. I don't know if I will or not. Who knows? Okay, the last one on my Stitch 9 challenge was Let There Be Coffee, and I love this one. Isn't it cute? I think it's cute. Um, I did quite a few coffee ones, and I'll probably do some more, um, because in the new house, we want to have a coffee bar slash bar area. Um, so I would like to have a couple of my cross-stitched coffee pieces hanging in that area. Let me get a drink of speaking of coffee. Isn't this cute? This is one of my Christmas presents. Uh, this year I got a plethora of Christmas presents. I called them that because um, Robert really, if I want something he and I say it, then he, he usually goes and gets it for me eventually. But um, he went this year and I have Amazon list on our Amazon account a wish list and he just went in there and tried to buy things that I had on my wish list like this you know that normally I wouldn't spend the money for because I'm like why but I spend over $20 on a mug when I could buy a cross stitch pattern right so um he just went in and, and got me a uh, stuff and then the little rascal put them all in a big box so I think I'm getting this big present and I open it up and I just have a, a, a plethora of little things that I liked like he got me a sourdough basket uh, to for the bread to rise in. Um, he got me just tons of little stuff that I love. There's a picture of me just holding on my plethora. He got me socks because I love socks. I love crazy wild socks. So, okay, enough about that. I got a plethora of Christmas gifts. So that was my stitch nine. Oh, God, that was Cowboys crumpled up. That was my stitch nine. Um, and like I said, that I, I piggybacked them. I showed my stitch nine out of the year whips that I wanted. So I had my top nine that I wanted to get done. And I did that in record time. Actually, I had that done within uh, two months of starting. So I was moving along. I didn't slow down until July. July just kind of hit and um, everything went crazy because I volunteered to do a couple of uh, medieval feasts for the SCA that I'm involved in. And that takes a lot of energy and time. And there was a couple of other things that I was doing. So um, cross-stitch kind of slowed down uh, quite a bit after July. But up until July, my needle was on fire. So the next things I wanted to get done on the year of whips was uh, I wanted to finish up the 12 Days of Christmas. Um, Paulette Stewart, I think, is her. It's, her. it's free now. She did it as a sow when she first put them out. But now you can go onto her website and get them for free. So... Um, I was, uh, I had up to six done and that was another thing. It says like, I'm, there's 12 days of Christmas. I'm going to do one a month. Well, I got behind on that the first year I did it. So I said, I'm finishing this up. All this, I tried to finish up my series in 2019. So oh, here is the seventh day of Christmas. Isn't that they cute? Oh my gosh. They're so cute. I love them. Um, here is the eighth day. Golden cow. Ah, love it. The ninth day. You better be glad I'm not singing this to you. Oh, they're beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? They're so tiny, too. They're so tiny. They're going to be cute little ornaments whenever I get them made up. 
get the notes right here. Oh, so cute. And the wreath, the house. Oh, so cute. Love it. Here's the 12th day. 12 drummers drumming. You know, I thought that I'd get really tired of the drumming over and over, and it did get a little monotonous. But you know what? I to see a drum get done, and then another drum get done, and then another drum get done. This kind of thing. But uh, it was so exciting to see that. So I, I got those finished. So that's two series that I got finished in 2020. I mean, 2019. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Now, this little bugger, I did find out that I did not care to do. As a matter of fact, it's supposed to have a border around it, but I just cannot bring myself to do it. Oh, it's a beauty. It is beautiful and it's kind of sparkly. And um, But this is as much as I could get to done. I just did not enjoy doing this little booger at all. And there was a blue one that uh, it didn't match. It wasn't circle. It was longer ornament that I bought the material for because I wanted to do them both. They were so beautiful. But I know that I won't, the, it's the same way on the blue one. So I know I won't enjoy it. So I've decided not to do the blue one. Who knows? One day I might change my mind. So now another that was on my year of whips. This was called Two Angry Birds. And I love this one. When I saw it, I had to have it. So let's see if we can get it all in here. Look at that. I gotta get a close up of that. Little birds. Look at those little birds. Now, I changed the leather lettering a little bit because you had to really struggle to make out what it said. So I decided that if I did every word in a different color, then whenever I get this framed and hanging up, then I'll, I'll be able to read it fast. And my guest and whoever else wants to look at it will be able to read it without really having to study it so hard. Now, these are just my cutie patooties. I love them. This is the Beekeeper and the 3B Mini Sampler. Now, this is going to be, I'm going to do a bunch of these on here. So, these are the two that I had in my uh, my ear whips. I know, I know, right? There are no words to how pretty these are. Oh, I could just sit and look at these. I can't wait till I get some more done um, and... Um, get it from because I think this is going to go summers where I will see it every single day. I love it, love it, love it. Um I have to I don't have any more of those patterns, but my needle workshop has some. So I don't have them in my list this year because I, I don't have any. So it'll probably be a little bit further down. Or I might buy them this year and then put them on later. I don't know what I'm gonna do. All right. Here it is what's this one called? Coffee. Just coffee. There we go. Isn't it dar, dar? Isn't it darling? It says all you need is love and a good cup of coffee. I just think it's so striking that white on that black. However, I have to admit I did not like stitching on the black. But now that I got better glasses, I might like it better. I don't know. So now that is almost all of my 2019. Year of, year of Whips 2019. Out of 20, I believe 23, I got 23. Do I have it written down? No, of course not. Let me count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. I was right. Out of 23 that I put on my list to get done for 2019, I am all done but two. So that means I finished 21 pieces on my list of your whips. The two that I did not finish, you've all seen, and that is Cowboy Boots. And if you watch my channel, you know the story that when I started again, it'll be the third time that I start this one. The first time, I didn't care for the material I was working on, and I think that's what was bogging me down. The second time, Sarah's Puppy Mo. Decided he liked the material that I chose, grabbed it out of my basket, and ran with it. 
um, and it put a uh, pool, it pulled a piece out right down the middle. And where it might get covered, I just couldn't put all that work in and know that if I see just a tad bit of that run, it'll drive me crazy. So I'm like, I'm just going to get another one, another piece of material and restart that. So yes, that one's going to go back into my year of whips 2020. So hopefully I can get it finished. Now, the second one that was in my year of whips that I did not get finished was the beautiful, 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 beautiful uh, illuminated nativity. Make sure you can see it. There we go, all around. So the glare. So that's the one, and this is where I've gotten on it. So I did work on it uh, some. So I did get a good hunk of it done, and I will continue to work on it. Um, I'm putting it back into my year whips, and I thought that, hey, you know what? This year I'll just say I'm going to get this section done for on nativity for year of whips 2020. And I was like, you know what? Now I'm just going to list it and I, I will work on it for 2020 and I will get a little another little piece done somewhere on it. And if I got it finished in 2020, that would be great. Uh, if I don't, it'll just go right back in for 2021. It'll get done eventually. OK, so not only did I get, well, can I look any more just laid back here? I'm just going to lay back with y'all and have some coffee. How's that? Hope you have something delicious to drink. So not only did I work on my year of whips, but in between that, I worked on some other things. One thing I'll show you that I did is, is uh, I did some applique. And I absolutely, positively enjoyed doing this. And I want to do some more. I have bought um, some felt cutouts of dachshunds and some little poison bottles. And so I've got some stuff to do. I just need to... Uh, figure out exactly what I want to do. I could buy another kit and have it all there, but I kind of want to just design my own uh, dachshund one, especially since I lost Teddy this year. And Daisy's getting older and Baxter's not sounding good at all. I'd like to do one with the, the dachshunds for my babies. But not only did I, I work on that. Let's see. Let's get, where is it? Um, Little the Girl in Blue by the Little Stitcher. I've worked on that one because I saw this one and was like, I got to have it. Let me make sure you see it. Because I love the story behind it, too. So she is on Etsy. Um, believe in just the Little Stitcher will get you there. Um, and I did her on a kind of a bigger piece, too, because um, I'm going to get a couple more of hers. And uh, I think the only one more will fit on that but uh, and do them. So I just got a little extra material on that one. So that was Girl in Blue. And what was the next one? Pocket Poinsettia. I did two of these little bad boys. Because I was going to um, give them for Christmas gifts. I got them done before Christmas. I just didn't get them done done. So did two of those. I and I looked in my basket of stuff that I have, and there's a couple more ornaments that I did last year, but never got done to give away last year. I need to do some finishing. I'm gonna whack my hands enough where you can hear it. Um, oh, yep. Then I did another. This was uh, oh, that was from Little House Needleworks, and this is also from Little House Needleworks, uh, called Caroling Quartet. That is so cute. I thought I'm going to make this and give it away, but yeah, it ain't going to happen. I'm going to keep it. I know I am. What I'll do with it one day, I do not know. Now, Queen Bee Sampler from Twin Peak Primitives. You're going to love this one. It is a beauty also. Let me get you really close so you can see. And then back it up so you can see. I'm telling you what. I love them all. Another Twin Peak Primitives. This was called Revival. Oh, my God. 
when I saw that snail with a house on its back, I was like, I can't do it. It's so darn cute. I love it. Look at those ants. Love it. So that is what I got done in cross stitch for 2019 year of whips. So I was very happy with what I got done on for the year of whips. It was very encouraging for me to sign up and do it. And I went through and I did the whole album in their Facebook page and updated it as I went. Um, I know that there were supposed to be awards or something for people who did it. I never even really checked back on it. Neither did I check back on the Stitch 9 Challenge. It, um, it motivated me and that's what counts. I got it done. So I am going to pause this now and get out the stuff that I'm going to do for 2020. I'll be right back with you. All right, we're back and we're ready to move on with what I have planned for 2019. And it looks like on my year whips this year, I have 12 cross stitch patterns. Um, then I have a few other things that I've done that's not cross stitch. So um, I did not take these out of my project bags because it is a pain in the butt to organize it back after the video. So I'm going to have to just be a little cumbersome and noisy. Okay, so one of the, not I'm going to say the first, but here is one of the items that I'm going to uh, have on my 2020 year whips, and it's called When Cardinals Appear. I hope that you can see it. Now, I don't have it, anything started on it at all, um, but it is on a 32 count, it's going to be on a 32 count mint splash. What did I do with it? Here we go. This. It's already got the little, it's got little white spots on it. I just thought that it would look really cute in a, uh, with the snow uh, scene that the Cardinals own. Really excited about doing it. Um, Want to get that one started. I hope that I can get as much done for 2020 year whips as I did for 2019. But I got a feeling I'm going to be a little busy with everything else. So I might not get as much done. This one's going to be a fun one. This is uh, Star Wars. Black work Star Wars. <laughs> I just love it. Um, I actually have a lady that asked me if I I would teach her black work. For the SCA, I did a bunch of black work. Um, for projects that I had done. So I said, yeah, and I saw this one and I thought this would be such a fun one to learn on. It's not very big. Um, I'm gonna do it, uh, cause I'm teaching her, I'm gonna do it um, eight o'clock. So it's not something that I'm like, oh my God, I'm gonna hang this in my house. It's just gonna be a fun piece. And actually will probably be given away to somebody who, one of my friends or family who loves Star Wars. Um, I like Star Wars, but I'm not that big of a fan of it. Okay, next one is called the V Combs. I wanted this one for a very long time. I when I first saw it, um, it's actually started already, and um, this is what I've got done on it. But I'm kind of worried because I think I miscalculated, and um, that's why I haven't stitched on it because I think I miscalculated, and I might not have enough to go over. I just need to um, cowboy up and start working on it again and if I don't, figure out what I'm gonna do. But it's gonna be beautiful. It's, I did it real big. I did it kind of on a big piece because I kind of wanted it big. But I got all, this, all the threads. I even bought the uh, the required threads for it. Uh, the what is it, ask for threads, whatever. Um, because I really love it. But that's on my year whips. Whether I finish that one, or I have to start over, whatever. It's still on my year whips. Another one. Pull those bags, pull those bags. Um, this one is called the field of blah, 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 blah. That's a cuss word. The field of F blah, 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 blah. Um, I'm doing it for my daughter who asked for it. And uh, I thought it would kind of be a fun one to do anyway. And I'm sorry, I thought I had a picture of it for y'all. Right here. 
dum 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 Here it is. That's what it's going to look like when it gets done. Now, she is a pink girl, loves pink and everything. So she wanted to change the houses in it, the house in it, to, or the whatever, the tower, uh, to pink. I'm like, okay. So I said, I have this material. You can use it. and um, But you better look at your pinks and make sure they match. She did. She likes what it's looking like. So that's on my year whips to get that finished for her, who... I'm very proud of is buying a house and everything is going smoothly so far. So by the end of January, my 23 year old daughter will have a house. I'm very proud of her for that. Not many people can say that at that age. So I'm working on that one. Now I know y'all have seen this one and I have all the other ones and uh, I have to do this one. I bought it as soon as it came out. But um, I haven't started on it yet. Let me try to get it out of the plastic. Yellow polka dot bikini. 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 I can say it. There we go. That is going to be so cute. Can't wait to get started on it. I say that about them all. They're all, they're my favorite. They're beautiful. And I can't wait to get started on all of them. So, back in there. And this is the fabric that I've chose to do it on. I just did a plain, not a plain, um, 28 count natural. So that's what it's going to be done on. I think the colors will uh, pop on it. So I'm excited about it. And once again, went in, oh my God, I went in, my, my poor, poor, poor girl, Trixie, um, went in with just a pile of stuff and said, I need all this stuff. And of course she did a great, wonderful, well, let's pull stuff and look at it. And we sat there for a good long time, just looking at stuff and pulling stuff. And then she cut it and searched it. I love my needle workshop. I love my Trixie. Speaking of my needle workshop, Every year, Lois does a grab bag kind of thing around the holidays, uh, and um, they range, I think they're you can, 5 to $20. I mean, it's not much at all, um, and you don't know what you're going to get. So I bought one because I love that, and I got two primitive hair uh, pieces, and I, didn't have, I don't have my other one over here, but this is the one that I'm going to do. Down twice, ditch once. Isn't it cute? I actually saw this when it came out um, and really wanted to do it, but just never got it, never did it, never bought it. It comes with everything you need. I got the thread. Well, not everything. I bought the threads, um, but it came with the fabric and the, uh, the finishing thing. So I forget what the other one was that was in that grab bag. There was two. And I spent $10 and I got two kits. So... This is a $48 kit. So, I mean, I, I did it. It was a great deal. It was wonderful. If you're anywhere near Aust, uh, Copper's Cove, it's not that far from Austin or uh, the surrounding areas. I think they still have the grab bags. She had quite a few of them. One of the grab bags that I get is, a, I did not get the ornament edition for just cross stitch. I think it's what it's called um, for 2019, the, the ornament magazine so um she still had one sitting there and i was going to buy it and she said uh, and then she reminded me of the uh the grab bags and so i went in there and she had magazines bundled up too and um uh, one of the there was five or six of them there was a, it was a good portion of them and uh so i bought it and the one of the ones in it was the 2019 ornament edition so i got it which i was going to buy anyway for ten dollars and i got uh, 2017, 28, I got 2011, I think. There was different ornament editions in there. So I was super stoked about that. Thank you, Lois, for doing that stuff for us. We appreciate it. Another one on my 2020 year of whips is a Lizzie Kate. Just because I wanted to do a little bit more Christmas ones. Um, this one is Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas. I'm not going to do the color ornaments that they have. I'm going to do them more in the, I guess, the retro colors, the pink, the turquoise, 
the 50s, 60s, 70s ornament colors because I love those. Um, I got this one as soon as it came out. As soon as Lois had it in her shop, I bought it. And it's the Blue Flower Quilting Bee. It's beautiful. And I went on <clears throat> and I got the, the material that it calls for in the count. And then I'm going to get the, uh, the threads for it and get to stitching on that one this year. Um, I've started the Suffrage Act. There's a sow going on. and. Uh, I don't know. I tag it in my Instagram, but I'm not. Oh no, I don't know if there's a Facebook page for it or not, or or something like that. But I wanted it, so I started it. And here's where I've gotten on it. I'm so enjoying working on this. You know, you have those pieces that are just fun, and you enjoy every stitch. This is one of them. Every little stitch, I'm like, ah, ah, I love you. I love you more. Every stitch is like a little kiss. Ah, I kiss my cross stitch. Um. <laughs> it's bad when I crack myself up okay I believe that this is the last one on my year whoops 2020 because you already saw the boots in the illuminated uh, nativity but it is Gordon Place Phantom Plantation I've seen this and seen this and seen this and I wanted it and one day I went into my needle worker shop and lord and behold Gordon Place was 25% off or something like that, and 20% uh, something. And I was like, it's time for me to get it. And then the Lord spoke down and told Joanne's to have a floss sale. And the day or two after that I bought this, they had a floss sale. So I just went in and bought all the floss that I needed for this, separate than my, my already kitted up stuff. So... That's my honey calling me. I'm going to pause you. Alrighty, so I believe, got interrupted by my phone call, so I believe that I told you that this was on clearance, or on a special, 25% off. Uh, Joanne's had a great sale on floss, so I got to kit it up with uh, all DMC floss, and I have started working on it, and this is where I'm at. Look at the little ghosty. Oh my goodness. Hello, Ghosty is cute. Just another one that's fun to work on. It's got quarter stitches in them, and then I don't like quarter stitches so much, but I'm still having a good time doing it. It's going to be a beaut when I get done with it. Um, and I'll probably love it. Because I love all things cross-stitch. Okay, so some fun stuff. That was my um, cross-stitch whips. Um... I have a couple of meal heels that I want to get done. This one, little ornament one that I bought for last year. I didn't do it. And then I borrowed this one from Trixie. And um, can't wait to get it done too because it's a bee. It's a bee. How precious is that? So I'm hoping to get a little meal heel working. And... I've got some embroidery pieces that I want to work on. Y'all saw they were these that I was working on uh, last year. And this is untangled. Come on, out of there. Um, just little simple, primitive little cross uh, embroidery pieces. But I have a, a whole set, and I kind of want to make a, a wall hanging with them. So to hang up at Christmas time. So I would like to get a couple more of those done this year. And this is my biggie, biggie, biggie. I love it so much. My daughter bought me this. for As a surprise, just out of the blue, she bought me the map of Hawker and Holler. Because she knows I've been eyeballing them for a while. But I haven't bought them because there's a lot of work into them. And I wasn't, no, I wasn't sure if I was ready for that. Um, and they're done in silks. And I know you don't have to do them in silks. However... Um, the needle workshop is clearancing out their, their silks, their um, needle point silks. So I spent the day sitting on the floor looking to see what they had that matched up with what I needed. So I did get quite a bit, but um, as you can see, I need quite a bit. 
so now what I'm going to do, and I'm I'm not putting this in even the plans of starting it. Now it doesn't mean that I won't, but I'm not. I don't even have a plan to start it. My plan for this year is to slowly order every bit of um, uh, silk that I need for it. Um, this little bag right here was fifty dollars, even on clearance. So um, I'm only going to buy one or two strands strands of time um, and then hopefully by next year I can put this one in my year whips that's my plan for the hawk run hollow and then I will join the sows that are going on for it I guess I don't know so that I'm going to work on baby G's blanket I still have not finished quilting that bad boy up and um, my mother-in-law is going to help me um, put the binding on it because I'm not good at that that's like, like my least favorite thing um what else do I have on my list? Oh, I need to make some more um, project bags. And I want to make another leather business card. I don't think I ever showed that to y'all. I made a leather business card cover um, because I have business cards for the Cooks Guild, for Stitching with the Dachshund, for our SCA things. I got business cards for that. It's, it's easier to hand that out than to say, here, let me have your number or your email address. It's just hand them out. Um, so I have quite a fit of quite a bit of stuff planned in the crafting area. Oh, crochet and I need, I want to make a couple more bags. I really want to make more of those shopping bags. They hold so much. I went, when I was doing one of the feasts for the SCA, I was feeding a hundred people, I believe for this one, which is not too bad, not that many at all. Um, but I went in and uh, I was buying a bunch of the uh, ingredients that I needed. And I had two of my uh, crochet bags. And the, the guy that was putting in there, he was he just put a few things in it. And I was like, no, no, no. I said, put it, it'll it hold a lot. And he was like, really? And I was like, oh, yeah. And uh, it got, it came a little game to see how many they could, I, how many items they could put into that bag. I called it my bag of holding. If you play D&D, &D, have ever played in D&D, &D, it's just a bag that's, it's magical bag. Everything fits in it and you could just take it out. Um, um, but anyway, yeah, they were amazed by how much stuff that bag had because it just kept stretching and stretching. Um, of course, it, it gets too heavy to carry, but uh, you could put a lot in it. So I really want to make a few more of those bags. Um, so I got some crocheting, I've got some cross stitching, I got embroidery, I got some beading. I got a little bit of everything that I want to get done this year. Um, but I think that pretty much wraps up my video for today. Like I said, I'm going to try to get back into the swing of things and get more videos up. I hope I can. Uh, you can catch me on Instagram at Stitching with the Dachshund, the same as same as the video. Uh, you can follow me there. I post a lot more on Instagram than uh, anywhere else. Um, other than that, only thing I got to say to you is put some thread in a needle and get to stitching. Y'all have a great day, and I will see you back in a couple of weeks. Hey, Victoria, say bye. She's not interested. All right. See y'all guys later.